All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the DeFi tutorial. As we know, themes are everything in the market. Even the weakest stocks in a very strong developing theme can make fabulous moves, and the strongest stocks in those strong themes are gonna make model book moves, and that's what we're looking to catch. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys an easy to use workflow using the new DeFi terminal feature uh, that allows you to dive deeper into a theme that you might notice, and learn more about different stocks within that theme. So uh, as an example, let's say you're going through the DeFi leader screen, you notice that BE is a stock that's been in a longer term uptrend. It's currently basing and at a key moment here where it might either uh, reconfirm higher or break down lower. And basically you wanna dive deeper into the energy theme it's a part of and kind of data centers, SMRs as a whole, uh, you know, stocks related to BE and uh, AI data center. So let's go ahead and use a quick prompt here. So basically the DeFi terminal is our AI side panel. You can also set it up in your dashboard and interact with it there and ask it questions related to stocks, finance. Um, it's really great for researching and saving you time uh, just like that. Uh, so as an example, uh, and first things first, if you don't have it open, go here to the top right and click this button here and that opens the DeFi terminal. So let's go ahead and enter the prompt here. So let's say we wanna find other stocks within uh, a similar theme to BE. So let's go ahead and say uh, list 15, not 125, 15 um, other stocks uh, related to BE in the same energy slash um, small modular reactor uh, theme. And for each one, we wanna give a, a quick description so we can dive deeper into them if we find them interesting. Uh, so let's go ahead and say, and for each, uh, give a quick uh, three sentence description of what they do. So let's go ahead and uh, enter that. All right, so now it's doing its research. Again, everything's within DFU, which makes the, the workflow very quickly. And we made some very cool updates to the terminal panel, which I'll show you in just a minute, that makes it very easy to add stocks that show up to a watch list. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, we've got SMR in here, Oaklo, a few private companies here, um, NNE as well, LEU. So perfect. So first things first, all of these are clickable in here. So you can bring up their charts very easily by doing that. Take a look at them. And if you want to add an individual one to a particular watch list, so say we're creating a watch list of stocks within this theme that we want to explore more. Um, basically what you have to do is right click on any of these tickers that are highlighted and add to, and we'll create a whole new watch list for this video that is AI energy, um, if I can spell energy slash SMR theme. So we're gonna add stocks to this watch list within this theme, click save. And now if we go over to our watch list tab, uh, this is basically um, where all these will be stored. So let's go ahead and add it to that watch list. There we go, SMR is there. And also at the bottom of any response in the AI, you can also click this plus sign and that will allow you to quickly add any tickers mentioned here. So let's go ahead and add all of the mentioned. So let's go ahead and add them to that watch list. And now all the stocks in this response are added directly to that watch list. Uh, so this is just part of kind of the workflow improvements that we're making, uh, integrating the DeFi terminal more with our platform, our watch list, screeners, all of that. Um, and this uh, symbol here, this icon allows you to copy the full message. So if you want to you know, email it to a friend or share it on Twitter, uh, the response to the AI, uh, this allows you to copy the full message that's sent here uh, for, for easy distribution. Um, all right, so let's say we want to dive deeper into Oaklo. Uh, let's go ahead and say, uh, tell me more about Oaklo. Oaklo, if I can spell again, Oaklo, uh, what they do and their growth. So let's go ahead and press enter. Again, we're just kind of noticing something and diving deeper into um, a particular stock that shows up in this theme. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what it says. So it gives a nice uh, quick run through of Oaklo. We also notice LEU there. So let's go ahead and say, how is, is LEU involved in the AI data center energy theme? What sets it apart? So these are just examples of prompts that you can use to dive deeper into a stock that comes up as you're researching a theme. 
Uh, so again, the main improvements we made were uh, these quick access buttons where you can click and view the chart, right click and add it to a watch list. And then of course you can add, add whatever prompts you want here to dive deeper into it. So here we go. Um, it tells you more about the stock, how it's involved, uh, what sets it apart. And you can really define the format of this. If you want to say, you know, give me a quick three TLDR um, description of the company, then uh, break down earnings, sales, uh, guidance, um, products as different sections with, you know, three bullets each. Just tell the um, AI that in the prompt itself, and that will allow it to actually, um, you know, break it down that format to make it easier to read. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So um, for LEU, break down the company um, and format your response first with a two sentence TLDR, which means too long, didn't, don't read. It's just kind of a way of, uh, of giving it a quick description. And then uh, sections on earnings growth, sales growth, margins, new products, guidance, and um, differentiating, if I can spell this, differentiating factors. So let's go ahead and fix my typo here. This as well. And, uh, and in each section use four bullets. Okay. So this is just kind of showing how to format your responses. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into LEU in that kind of easier to read format. Um, and all of these, I would really recommend kind of saving them elsewhere. Uh, one of the improvements we're going to be making, uh, so you can see it formatted nicely here, it's nice, nice and easy to read. Uh, one of the improvements we're going to be making is the ability to quickly load prompts and save them here. So basically they're just a few quicks away. So just like how in the screener, we've got preset screens and you know, your screens, you don't have to remake the filters every time. We'll be making those, um, the prompts that you create and the presets that we put in uh, just a few clicks away. So you don't have to type everything out every time. You probably would just have to adjust the ticker symbol and all that. Um, and by the way, if you have any other ideas for integrating uh, the AI into DFU better, you know, natural language screening, just telling it, you know, you know, look for stocks over the 50 day moving average with this dollar volume, we'll be able to do that. And that's what we're working on right now. But if you have any other other, other ideas that would help you, uh, you know, immensely during your routines, researching companies using DFU, let us know. Uh, we're very committed to integrating this as much as possible, uh, creating features that are very useful to you and your workflows. Uh, that's what DFU is all about, is listening to you guys and then making you know your dream features a reality. So let us know in the comments right below, uh, you know what you would like us to bring to the platform regarding AI features. Uh, so again, that's just showing the, the, the formatting here, but the main thing I wanna show in today's video is those improvements where you can right click, add it to a watch list, and also go down here at the bottom of any response. And if there's any tickers mentioned in the response, you can quickly add those to a watch list uh, using this icon here, and then also copy the message right here. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today's video. If you have any questions about the AI feature, I did a full demo uh, showcasing a lot of prompts. Um, I'll link that down below in the description. Highly recommend checking that out. And then we'll be adding a lot of features and updates to uh, this DV terminal, uh, you know, almost daily. So expect to see more improvements and let us know your best ideas again uh, down below in the comment section. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.